G'day legends, welcome back to another front AR install. Now, if you remember back to my birthday when we did that one, someone brought me some onesies for my birthday, so I thought I'd wear them today for me colored Crocs. But anyways, the phones are ringing. I'll pull that off because it's pretty hot to be honest. And I've got, as you can see, I've got a little clippy thing here. Cause well, there's all these little holes like this. And before I did the old, woo, like this, and um, can imagine what came out of there. <laughs> so today we're on the beers as always. Mm. Cheers legends, this one's not bad. A little bittery, but not bad. It's a uh, Young Henry's New Towner Australian Pale Ale. Not too bad, little, little bittery, little bitey, but really not too bad, not too bad. Mm. So today, as you probably tell by the title, we're gonna show you how to install our universal air compressor mount for the underbonnet of the N80 Hilux. Very, very simple one. Should only take around 10 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> but every time I say this, something goes wrong on my end and we spend about half an hour or an hour doing it. But anyways, we'll see how we go today. It should be nice and simple. So it's very simple. You're going to get a bracket, this bracket here with it. This is the main one that bolts down the inner guard. You're going to get a little switch. Now this takes your switch. Now, I'm going to use TJM switch because, you know, can't talk about it. But anyways, something happened to the bread roll, potentially. TJM switch, ARB switch, same, same. They're gonna pop in here, right? Clip, beautiful. Now in here is where your, where your beautiful air outlet's gonna go. I'll show you where this mounts later. So these aren't included, right? But I'm gonna put a full list of the parts for this on the website and what parts you're gonna need. The switch comes with the compressor, this bit, and the other bits you're gonna to need to plumb all this up, come, you've gotta buy separately. So we'll put a full list of this on the webpage so you can find everything. Straight to ARB, Diligo, Brip, Highlight, that's what I need. Hook you up, TJM, whatever. So, you're gonna get a bunch of M6 bolts. Should we show you about them in a minute? Can you get a couple of these little fellas? Now these are good little plastic things and a couple of screws which will go into those little fellas as well. Now, you're also gonna get some M8 bolts with Nuts, these M8 bolts with nuts, these are the mount, the TJM single compressor. These bad boys here are to mount the dual ARB compressor, four of these. So, depends on what compressor you've got if you're gonna need them. Now this also does suit the single ARB air compressor, um, but we're not gonna install that today because it's um, covered in mud and I really don't wanna pull it out. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna do that later tonight or tomorrow or something. So it's, it's gonna be an effort. Anyway, so we're not gonna install that one, but it's very, very simple. It has holes on here. So see this mad pattern of holes. This is to suit all three compressors somewhere. You'll figure it out. It's pretty easy, but yeah, I'm not gonna try and point it out because there's a lot of holes here. So I'd sit on there and line it up. So if I was to get this one, for example, put the bracket on there, straight away, you can see all the, the slots line up nicely if i see these slots here i can stop moving it i keep moving it so see the slots all line up nicely and you can bolt it on so as soon as you put an air compressor on here you can see where you can put bolts in and um tidy it all up it's pretty easy so we're going to install the dual arb compressor today it makes no difference between the tjm or the dual arb so we'll just put the jewelry in today and show you how it works very simple the first thing we're going to do is we're going to double check where this goes in the engine bay so you know which way you want your compressor orientated. So we get the bracket, we come over and I believe it goes that way, it does. So the bracket goes this way in the car, right? So your, your long leg here goes down this back corner. Just drop that in. Right, so that's how it's gonna go. So I'm gonna wanna, so you're gonna wanna put your ARB air filters, the air for these bits here. See so these air filters here. You're gonna wanna put these pointing back into the engine bay, so towards the driver's side. So I'm gonna pull that out, and I'm gonna have that like that, and I want this, and this, now, like that. So that's how I wanna bolt this up. So he's put it upside down, you can see under here, we've got all these nut certs from ARB that we're gonna to utilize to mount with. See, so we've been mounting to a lot of things, as you can see. So we've got AM6s out. See, we've cut the holes for these, oh my God. I'm already dropping bolts. <laughs> right, so put this bad boy in here. 
And remember, you get everything in nice and loose before you go wrapping anything up. You know what I didn't go through actually yet, which I'm going to have to go through in a second. I'm going to put these bolts in. I've missed a valuable step today. I really have, haven't I, Al? What tools do people need to... Tools would help. Tools would help. So, let me pick up a bolt that I dropped. Let me get in my drawer and get the rest of my bolts. Let's have washers. And get more bolts, because I didn't pull enough out. Alrighty, so, the one thing I forgot today is what you're gonna need. So, as you can see, we've got the beautiful Caterpillar tools. Thank you, guys. These are, I'm actually liking these. They've got a really nice feel. We've only really used them for one install and a bit of stuffing around, but I like them. Steve doesn't mind them. He's our main design guy. He um, doesn't mind using them. So they're pretty good. They're pretty good. They're not bad. Um, they've got a nice soft start too, so. Nice little soft start. So anyways, on that, moving on, we're going to need a screwdriver bit. So I use the impact gun screwdriver because I'm lazy. And we're going to need a rattle gun or a 10 mil socket. 10 mil socket with a bit of an extension is always nice for this install. Um, that's going to help you out. But 10 mil, that's all we pretty much need. But if you're going to do the TJM compressor, you're going to need, let me just double check it, 12 mil socket. If you're going to put TJM in, you need 12 mil socket and spanner to tighten them up. Rightio. So we're going to get our 10 mil. Oh, oh, on our Caterpillar bloody, on our Caterpillar um, rattle gun. Look at that. Doink. So, just confirming that's how it went in. Yep. Push some of the wiring down. So we're going to go over to the car now. I'm going to take this bit over. And we're going to put this bit in here. Pull that bit out. So you pull that bit over here. So it's out of the way. And we can bloody line up our stuff. That's better. Right, so the first thing we're going to do, is so we're going to get one of these six mil bolts it's going to go down so this front corner here has actually got a thread in it so we're gonna god damn i can't get my fingers in there so we're going to try and line that up with the thread <laughs> uh-oh that's one that's one let's try again <laughs> that's almost two but i can get this one back Anyways, if I pulled out, if I pulled this relay box out, it would make my life a lot easier, but I don't want to because, you know, because I just don't want to. <laughs> this makes life harder. So I'm just going to struggle for a minute and get this bolt started and then. <sighs> struggle straight, guys. <laughs> oh, that's three. That's three bolts gone. He's got it! I had to change the angle of my hand to get it on, but I got it on. Right over on Legends, look at that! We've done it. Get him down a little bit tighter. <laughs> yes! That is that is worthy of a bit of rehydration. Let me have a hydrate. Hydration session. Hydration session. Cheers, Legends. Mmm. 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 Now we come around here, so you're gonna have to look down back up under the inner guard and we've got we've got a nut cert here in the bracket then we've got one in that corner and one in this corner you're gonna have to hop down under here in your onesie and uh have a look for where they line up beautiful so we've got one okay we've got one here see where it flops down there there's one here so we're gonna put that one in there then we're gonna come back up to here See here, we've got one there. We're going to start this one here. Frankie's all excited, the old puppy. I'm going to put this one in here. do not line up very well. And then there's one more just here. Oh, something fell was one of the other bolts I had left over. There we go. So that's the three there that we're going to tighten up. <laughs> Look at those chicken legs, though. Look how long them legs are. All right. So we're going back to sensible times now. Just do these up. Back to work. Back to work. We'll get this installed done and then we can party. Let's go. Oh, 
Alrighty. So that's the main part done, right? Now, now, actually, while well, I'm at it, can't remember the guy's name. Be Les, Big Les, Big Les. Shout out to you. I can use a rattle gun. <laughs> he roasted me the other night for dropping spanners. Do you even know how to use any of them tools? This is the only one that matters. <laughs> Righto, we better, better, better stop misbehaving. So this is the next part, putting this in. Pretty easy. It's not, oh God. Said that now, and I've dropped the screws and stuff. Now you'll see, we've got two slots. We have a slot there, a slot there, and we've got to cut this nut down here. So that's what we're using to mount. So these two little plastic duvelakis, they're gonna go in like so. So we're gonna put them in so the slot is that way, right? Horizontal. So that way when it when you put your screw in, it opens up and it bonds to the to the metal. Put him in, beautiful. Let me get our bracket over here. So this on here so we basically want to line up this first one here god damn lost lost the screw already ah, why does this always happen to me so we can line up the screw here right so it's very easy to pull off see those little tabs there you just pull that tab back like so on each one and pull this up and it just comes off. It gives you a bit more room to get in here and bolt this on. So I'll try to put that screw on my mouth, but it didn't really work for me. Well, well, right on legends, after, I don't know, five minutes of trying, I decided to pull the screws out that I put in and try to put this in first. This is the key to this bit. <laughs> See what I mean? Steve stitches me up every week, just leaves the little bits out, and I just try to right. So, you want to put this bottom bolt in first. Goes in here, put the bolt in. So you can just twist this to the side, look down, line him up with the thread, and voila. Took me like two seconds. Pretty bloody simple. But if you mean you do everything the hard way, well, it took like 10 minutes. But see, something that cost me a few minutes, it's costing you no time now. We put that screw in that one. Let me put this screw in this one now. Screw him up nice and tight. Oh, hi, and that's it. Oh, wait, this. Put this bad boy on. The noisy muddies. That bit's on. Job done, guys. It's that. It's that bloody simple. Now, one bit I've left out is, please hold. Wait right there. So, it's 90 degree fitting. Screws into there. There's a fitting on the bottom of this. This bad boy. You can screw this bad boy on. This is all from ARV. I think it's like, it's probably gonna cost you like 60, 70 bucks in parts. And then however you wanna plumb it, you can go straight underneath here, under this bad boy, which I'm gonna pop this back off now. Well, you put a 90 degree off of here and just have it plumb in like that, right? Depends on how you wanna plumb it. There's a couple of different options. I'm just gonna do it the hard way. That's what I do. I'll do this. Drop that bit on there like that, and none on there. Feed this bad boy up here. Oop. Up through the hole. Screw that bad boy on there. It's all nicely plumbed up. Put that bad boy back in. Right, our legends, there you have it. All done, nice and simple. As always, everything's nice and simple. No drilling, no modifying, no nothing. Um, don't, don't forget this suits the dual ARB air compressor, the single TJM and the single ARB. Unfortunately, the dual TJM is just way too big to put this in. Now, if you like this content, guys, make sure you like and subscribe and leave a comment. Even if this product's not for you, it all helps. Every little bit counts. Like, subscribe, comment, 
Thanks, legends. We'll see you next week. Yo!